good morning. It is Saturday, May 18th, I think. 17th, 18th, something like that. Um, and I'm going to try so hard to get the insulation done today. I tell you what, it's just, <laughs> it's just one thing after the other. And this week I discovered something else that I had to take care of. And I feel like, I don't know, I might split this video up because it, it, it's been well over a month now, maybe two. And I don't even remember what all is in this video because I haven't started editing yet. And it's probably going to be kind of long, so yeah, I might just split it in two. So, you might have already seen half of this. I don't know. The framing is up around the window, the lights are installed, fixed, and reinstalled, and now I can actually put the insulation up. And I don't know what I'm doing at all. I know that there's certain places I'm going to have to glue it, and there's other places where it's just going to be stapled. And I also know that I'm going to have to like separate the insulation is three and a half inches thick and that's not quite enough space without like squishing it. It's time to get to work. I don't know where to start. I don't know what I'm doing. I guess I will start by um, unrolling some insulation and separating it. I'm going to have gloves. I'm going to have long sleeve shirt on, pants, the whole nine yards. I don't want to be itchy. I started with that long piece. It is about 93, 94 inches long. That should be long enough to go the length across the top and the bottom. And then everything else will be little pieces. All of the stuff that I am splitting off the top, I'm gonna to be using that to stuff in cavities, um, especially the nose of the RV. Um, that's a pretty big cavity that is going to need insulation in there. I think originally it was like blown in type insulation, but I'm, I'm not going to get blown in insulation just for that. So I'll be using the fiberglass for that as well. Okay, we're going to start with some of the smaller pieces um, just to get kind of a feel for it, see how it goes. Um, and I don't know how well it will look on film because as soon as I back away it's gonna get dark up there but we'll at least give it a shot and yeah I'm a little nervous and I'm already I'm already itchy I'm already itchy <laughs> also just standing there looking at it I realize I'm probably gonna have to go find some like duct tape actually actually I already have some um but just to take care of the wire situation up there because I have them, I have them just like clipped up with like one of them alligator clip things, uh, which probably shouldn't stay like that. Um, I should probably tape them down and then put the insulation over them. But again, I'm gonna start with the small pieces first and then see see how this goes. Okay, sweating my tush off, but it is done. I had a little bit of a mishap. I was going to put the long piece, zoom out a little here. I was going to put the long piece along the top and I was spraying it with glue and it like wasn't, it wasn't coming out super great. And I just happened to like look at the can and it's coming out all around the spray nozzle, all over my hand. And I had gloves on, luckily, but like I kept trying to keep going because I was like halfway done and I just wanted to get that done. Um, and then I could feel it like soaking through to my skin. So I stopped everything, ran inside took my gloves off, which were already starting to be glued to my hands, washed my hands, got a new pair of gloves, got a new can of adhesive, 
came back out, did it, crisis averted. <laughs> and I'm so, so happy that this part is done. And now the next thing I can move on to is enclosing it and with possibly beadboard, I'm not sure. I have some extra beadboard, so that's why I'm like, I might as well just use that. Um, plus I think it will look nice, so. So yeah, it's just insulation, people. It's not that exciting. It's exciting for me though. What's up guys, it is Memorial Day weekend and it's a hot one. So if you hear my air conditioner running, please forgive me, <laughs> but it's, it's, it's pretty warm. It was about 92, 93 degrees when I came out here. So yeah, we're gonna leave that on. Um, so yeah, when I last left you, I had finished the insulation and it still looks good. It's holding up. The adhesive hasn't let any of the pieces down, so that's good. Um, now I'm just figuring out how to enclose it. And my original idea was to use beadboard or something like that, very thin plywood. Um, but the more I thought about it, the more I thought how how difficult that's really going to be, because it's it's such an odd shape, and even the windows are odd shaped, like. Um, you know, it would be hard to take a piece of beadboard and cut this this kind of shape with a hole that shape, you know, and just put it up in one piece. Um, it's well beyond my skill level. So, you know, then I was thinking, all right, what about a shiplap kind of look, you know, faux shiplap. Everybody's doing it. I personally love that look. Um, and it seems like it would be way easier because then I'd, I'd just be dealing with strips of wood and not like a full sheet. So I went to, to Lowe's yesterday, um, which a little tip of information here, if you're, if you're going to Lowe's to buy Luan thin plywood um, and you don't need a full sheet, you know, if you're not if you're not doing something that requires a large piece then I highly suggest getting the smaller pieces because it because it's it's cheaper actually um, so four of the two by four two foot by four foot sheets of Luan four of those would make a four by eight sheet um, and it's actually cheaper to buy those four smaller pieces than to buy one full sheet of plywood, which I, I thought was pretty weird. Um, but yeah, so I, I grabbed a bunch of those, mostly because I don't have a truck and that's the only way I was gonna get them home. Um, then I took them up to my parents' house and my dad ripped them into smaller strips. And I'm standing here now trying to figure out how I wanna do that. Because as always, there, there's always something, and right now it's it's all about what I have available to nail into, um, which is not much. The sides, not a problem at all. There's plenty of wood, no big deal. But that front piece, yes, I put some two by twos around that window, and that's definitely going to help. But that's not enough and that's not especially enough vertical pieces which let me flip you around and show you what I mean so there's no verticals up here in this top piece at at all um, so for me to run you know shiplap across here I would need something to nail into um, yeah, I'm gonna have to cut out some of that insulation and put in two by twos, and I'm really not looking forward to it. Um, it's way too hot to put clothing on. <laughs> I mean, other <laughs> than what I'm wearing now. Um, so I might just suck it up and do it as cleanly as possible. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just have I'm just having a dilemma. I just wish something would just go smoothly from start to finish. And 
this is just a minor, um, a minor problem that I'm probably making into a big deal. Um, so I think I'm just gonna do that and, and shut up. <laughs> and I'll check back with you guys in a little bit. So guys, it is now Monday and I pretty much stopped yesterday when that second thunderstorm came through because um, it, it continued to rain on and off all night. So I just went, you know, and, and did the family thing. And now I'm back out here this morning. I don't have a ton of time because I have to work tonight, um, but I'm gonna try to get at, at least some stuff going. Um, the first thing I did today, which I'll explain why this insulation will not stay there. Um, I decided to enclose this part. This is the, the nose of the RV. And by having this board here, makes it a little bit easier to cut or to figure out how to cut these angles. Um, so I just put some 3 8 inch plywood, screwed it down, actually I nailed it down, um, but yeah. That's in, so that's that's some progress. Um, and then I started here on the side, and I nailed my first board up, which I'm already having some difficulties. It's it's gonna be fine in the end, but these brackets that I put in here, they go you know up the sides. There you can see. So I can only nail them at the top. Obviously, I can't nail it at the bottom. So what I did is I got some longer screws and I put a couple screws at the very bottom, you know, where I could get them in um, because this is going to be trimmed out anyway. And I'm probably gonna have to get, you know, a decent width trim because it's not straight. This floor up here is sloped don't really know if it's supposed to be but it is um, so it's it's butted up here at this seam and makes a gap down here the farther I go so again not a big deal I will put some trim there and it'll be fine also my boards are just shy of eight inches wide and now that this first one is up here I wish I would have made them thinner because, or you know, skinnier. <clears throat> um, because of how small of a space it is, you're really not gonna get the whole shiplap effect as much. But again, I'm just gonna roll with it. This is the way it's gonna be. So now we move to this part, and this is where I thought I had a pretty good eyeball grasp on it and I mean to be honest I did this is the board I cut and it would fit but I wasn't accounting for this gap here I was measuring it off the floor so off the floor you know it it's pretty darn close I have to admit um, I don't know, the sun's coming through, it's kind of hard to see. But if I did that, then they would not be lined up. So if I, you know, put this up where it's supposed to be, then it's not so great. So I'm gonna have to recut this board. Um, it's also too long by, you know, half an inch or so. I'm gonna try the whole uh, paper trick where you have your paper, it's the same width of your board, and you put it in there and you just kind of make creases where the cuts would be. And maybe see if that helps. I might be able to get it even closer. But yeah, that's where I'm at. And I'm gonna keep pushing forward and I'll check in with you guys once I start making some more progress. Well guys, it has been a couple days. A couple crazy days um which i'm sure no matter where you live that you'll probably know what i'm talking about but the weather has just it's been i not even really unpredictable because the weather people are predicting it but just crazy 
severe thunderstorms, hail, tornadoes, like all kinds of crazy crap the past couple days. Um, literally two minutes ago, a thunderstorm rolled through here and um, I'm going to try to get some work done before the next one comes because there, there will be more. But yeah, not that the rain prevents me from working out here. I'm perfectly capable of working in here in the rain. However, doing this shiplap, I, I have to cut every single board. So I'm going board by board, measuring, stenciling, you know, and then I have to go in and cut the wood and then come back out, put that wood up, do the next piece, go cut it, you know. And I don't feel like doing that in the rain or hail or thunderstorms. So yeah, it's been, it's been slow. It's been slow for that reason. It's also been slow just because it's a lot of cutting. Every single piece has been cut to fit. Um, which once I get to the front here, it'll it'll probably go a lot quicker because it's just one big window and it's relatively large and straight. But yeah, let me show you the progress that I've made. So I got this whole side done and I love it. I think it looks awesome. I'm so happy I decided to go this route um, because I like the way it looks and it's also relatively easy good morning guys uh, I didn't get very far the other day um, I got this first piece up on the front and I'm going to continue on but I tell you what my back is killing me and this morning I got up and I have one of those little um, vibrating handheld massager thingies and I just couldn't pinpoint where it was hurting. But now that I'm sitting here, I know exactly where. <laughs> it's this crouched down with my head held low. That's it. That's the muscle. So uh, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try so hard to get a good portion of this done today because I work tonight. So yeah, we'll see. And I also must say that some of these spots are so hard to nail in. Um, for one, the angle is is weird. You know, I'm not nailing straight on. I'm nailing on an angle. And the space is limited, so I can't do, like, full hammer swings. And the places that I want to nail, a lot of them have brackets and I don't really realize where exactly those brackets are and I try to nail into them and the nails hit the metal and they won't go and they just bend over and it's so frustrating like this bracket for instance and that bracket for instance you know I would want to I would want a nail right there and because it's there ah it's just so much crap. So it is yet another day and I'm still working on the overcab, but I'm so close to having it done. I've made a lot of progress and I ran into a tiny little snag. What else is new? Um, but I figured it out. At least I think I'm pretty sure, pretty sure this is going to work. Um, so I'll just show you real quick and then I'm going to get to work. It's early. It's like 7 a.m. I wanted to get a jump start on the day um, and try to get as much done before it gets hot. So, yeah. So I got both sides done and this front piece here is almost done. Um, I was going to wait to do this last two rows until I had somebody uh, to help me hold it. But I think I can just do it today. We're gonna we're gonna try to get it done. Um, I did add another board here to nail into so that my first piece can be a little bit longer, and then I can put a full piece next. Um, so that way I don't have a whole bunch of seams, you know, and short pieces up here on the top two rows. Um, and I went to do it yesterday, 
and noticed that I didn't have anything to nail into here along this side. So what I did was I went and got, um, what are they, one by twos, and cut down little pieces here. And <laughs> so first I glued it up with some liquid nails and, you know, just kind of sat here and held it for like 15 minutes until it was set up enough that I could let go. Um, and then I was thinking, oh, that's, that's probably not going to be strong enough. So I went and added an L bracket, which I need more L brackets um, because I didn't have enough to do the second piece. And the reason there's two pieces here is because there's actually going to be a full, you know, eight inch wide panel here. And then there's going to be a little strip up here. And because this is curved here, they're going to be at two angles, very slightly different angles. So anyway, um, the glue is set up and these are nice and firm, but you know, if that would ever come loose, it would be a pain in the butt to try to fix it. Um, so I think I'm going to drill holes and screw them in this way through here. Um, which, to be completely honest, that was my first plan. And I found some scrap wood here at the shop. And it was originally, like, trim, I think. But it was about this size. It might have been a little bit wider. But whatever kind of wood that was, I mean, it was hard wood of some, some kind. Uh, I could not get a screw through it. And I was too lazy to pre-drill it. So I just went and got some pine instead which it's going to be the same deal. I'm still going to have to drill through it. But um, I was I was trying to take the, la the lazy way out. And now I'm going to end up doing it that way. The original way. Anyway, so it was just a waste of time, basically. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to drill probably two spots through here. Drill it down. And... I might try to get two, but I might just do one in the middle um, through there because when I put my, my, my shiplap piece up here, like I still have to nail it into those two boards. Um, so we're going to make sure there's, you know, it's not totally full of screws or I will have a hell of a time trying to nail it fast. And once I get those two boards screwed fast, then I'm going to continue on with the shiplap, put up the last four pieces of shiplap, and then this project will be done. And I do have other small projects going on this morning, which I'm kind of doing in a separate video. So yeah, it's going to be a busy day, and I'm ready to get to work. All right, so far so good. There's one piece, another little mishap um yeah that's happened uh, a couple times you know the especially in these corners i just can't i can't get in there with my fingers with the hammer i've hit this thumb so many freaking times it's not even funny so i'm gonna try to get this one out i didn't pound it in usually i just i just pound them in the whole way um but i'm gonna try to get that one out because i did su successfully put a nail right above it um, and you know, if not, the trim is going to hide most of it because all of the nails that I've bent over have been in like, you know, little, little tight areas that I just can't get to. This whole time I've been using these little flat brackets as spacers between the rows. Um, up here I'm not, I'm, I'm not even going to worry about doing that. I'm just going to get them almost tight and I'll just eyeball a tiny little space in between them. And then I actually started doing it last night while I was, you know, figuring this situation out. Um, I'm taking a tiny little artist paintbrush and some black paint and I'm painting inside the, the, the gaps, which... I don't recommend. I recommend doing that first, painting the wall black and then putting those up. Um, 
but for some reason, which I knew that, for some reason I thought, eh, I'll just take a little brush, it'll be fine. Um, it is fine, but it wasn't easy, and it was very tedious, but, and I made a big mess, um, but then when I was done, I just took some pa sandpaper and folded it and just went, you know, in the cracks to get the, um, little, you know, smears and stuff off of it, and it worked out. Luckily, there's not a whole bunch of cracks, and on this front wall, you can't see in the cracks, um, so that's why I'm, I'm not even worried about putting the cracks on these top two rows. Just gonna, just gonna butt them up. But yeah. Yeah. I don't know how I'm gonna do this piece by myself. <gasps> we got this. Alright guys. The overcab is done. <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much done. Um, I just want to show you guys really quick how it turned out. All I have to do left is trim it out, um, which I will not be doing until after I either paint it or stain it. Um, let me know what you think I should do. Should I paint it white or the wall color, which is actually a very light gray, or should I stain it and polyurethane it? I already know what I want to do. Um, I'm just curious to see what you all think and let me know in the comments down below. So I'll just give you a quick look and then that's going to wrap up this video. <sighs> it's like <laughs> sigh of relief. I'm so glad it is finished. I have just a couple little things I have to do before I can lay the floor and then it's the home stretch guys it's it's nearly finished and i'm so excited so take a look